Hey YouTube, it's Lisa and I'm going to quickly make my usual disclaimers about no makeup, bad lighting, me poorly holding the camera, my dog being spastic in the background, and uh, like the no editing and all that. And see, there's my dog right now. He's right, let's see, there. Just being totally obnoxious because seriously he has like, he knows that the camera's up. But I am now homeschooling my two oldest kids and so... I can really only make videos when they are gone and they're gone with my husband right now. So I needed to quickly make a video. So I wanted to talk about, um, I wanted to talk about our, uh, I don't want to talk about RVs. Okay, as a side note, we totally found our RV. We think we're buying it this weekend and we are moving into an RV in like four to six weeks. So super excited, but my house is a disaster. Because I think what we're doing, we were going to have a huge garage sale and then the weather in Colorado has been horrible. So I think what we're doing is we're just going to take everything we want to keep and have an estate sale and just have them come in and sell everything. So my house truly really is a disaster because everything's just like everywhere. Total disaster. But that's not what we're talking about. I'm just staying on topic. We are talking about ovulation predictors and cervical mucus. That's exciting. Okay, when I very first wanted to get pregnant with my very first son, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get pregnant, and I thought it was going to take me forever to get pregnant, and I asked my doctor, what should I do, and she said, oh, the best thing to do is pay attention to your cervical mucus, and I did pay attention to my cervical mucus, and I did get pregnant, like the very first try, but I also took an ovulation predictor. The funny thing about that is I took an ovulation predictor and always thought that I totally like new um, and that the ovulation predictor worked. But now that I'm trying really hard to get pregnant and I'm taking ovulation predictors and I know how to read them, I realize that I totally was a dork and had no idea. And just because there's a line does not mean that you're at peak fertility. So I would say that the cervical mucus worked better for me at that time. But now I'm totally in tune with my body. And I know now that for me personally, my cervical mucus starts getting kind of that slick, um, definitely a difference when you're wiping, um, like I know TMI, but Hey, we've already shared a lot. So, um, when it's, when it starts getting that, that means I'm a couple days away. So I'm actually starting to get that today. So I'm guessing I'm about two days away from actually ovulating and barring any difficulties like my mother-in-law's plane getting stuck in the snow and my husband being gone on baby dance day. My son going to the emergency room to getting a, to get a pencil removed from his leg, or any of the other crazy things, us getting the flu or anything, just barring anything like that, we are gonna baby dance on peak day this month. Really? Okay. So that being said, I think it's coming up, and I just wanted to talk about the ovulation predictors and the two different kinds. So I have been using these little one for ones. Um, they're super inexpensive. You order them on Amazon, you get like 50 for not very much. I want to say like 15 or $18, um, 50 of them. And if you're an Amazon prime member, you get free shipping. So, um, they're super cheap. I don't, can't tell you exactly how much they are because I normally buy the pregnancy test combo pack because those are also super cheap and you can get like both of them for like $21 or whatever. And you get a ton of them. And if you're like me and you like to just you know, take a pregnancy test the day after you have sex, even though you fully know there's no way it could be positive, it just makes you feel better, then you know how to order these things in bulk. But um, kind of going back to how I didn't know what an ovulation predictor is supposed to look like, I now realize that the, the line, and you guys probably already know this, but the line actually has to be as dark as the control line or darker than the control line. And... I actually trust that these are really, really effective. I've like, I mean, they are like effective. I mean, even with my miscarriages, I was using these and I did get pregnant. Now my pregnancies didn't last, but that wasn't the test's fault. Um, but my obsession has grown and I have started to like test the accuracy of the Wanfo test by combining them with the clear blue digital test. Now, this isn't just the digital test that tells you, like, fertile or not fertile. This is the one that has, you know, that costs more money. And it has low fertility, high fertility, and peak fertility. So what I have been doing, even though it's been a waste because we haven't been able to baby dance, 
is taking the wand for test up until the very moment that um, I start to see a dark line and then I start taking the clear blue test because they're too expensive and as a side note for me I have been able to um, take these tests and the battery doesn't die in the little digital thing let me hold on so this is the little digital thing that it comes with and then you um, you open up these little one of these little packets and you stick it in there and if you've ever taken a digital pregnancy test it's much like that and um, but I if when I just if I hit peak fertility or the the high fertility and then peak fertility the next day I'll only use two of these it usually the pack I buy comes with ten so I'll only use two of them and I have found that I get through three sometimes four months um, before the battery dies in this and I'm pretty sure you probably could change the battery if you really, really wanted to, but the little batteries are probably mega expensive and then I wouldn't trust the results because I would have dorked with it. So, but actually, I mean, if you really wanted to be cheap and not cheap at the same time, which is kind of what I consider this, Wanfo and then use the Clear Blue Easy. So, but anyway, I am gonna be making a video tracking my tests. I actually made, I actually kept all of my tests from last month and um, yeah, my husband has just kind of given up on the fact that I am a crazy person. And I had them all lined up on the bathroom counter and I was going to make a video of it so you guys could see the actual progression. And when it actually gets, um, I mean, not that you guys don't know, but sometimes it's kind of fun to see someone else's and, and just make sure that you're normal. Okay, I might not be the best um, person to say you're normal, seeing as I just told you to buy them in bulk so you can take tests the day after you get, the day after you have sex. But, um, you know, just so you can relate. But anyway, um, so what happens was I lined them all up on the counter and I had this great video planned and then our cat jumped up there and um, knocked them all over, like into the sink, into the shower, pretty much everywhere they could possibly be scattered. Then they were out of order and they were wet and so I couldn't use them. So this month I am going to save them but I'm going to put them in a better spot and I'm gonna make a video. But for now, I just wanted to say, okay, cervical mucus, and I'm acting like I'm a professional, which I'm really not, but um, I have had four successful pregnancies, so I'm, I got something going. But um, but it's kind of funny because I'm just now figuring it figuring it out, and I kind of think I just got really lucky before. But um, okay, cervical mucus actually really does matter, and that's when I start to know I am becoming fertile. And then the Wanfo tests which are super effective. They're actually very accurate. Every time I get the dark line, I also get peak fertility or high fertility with the Clear Blue Easy. And then the Clear Blue Easy. But you could easily just use the Wanfo test because this thing right here, depending on what store you go to or if it's a sale or whatever, it's like $33 for this thing. And alas. But anyway, that's all I have to say about pregnancy tests right now. I'm not pregnancy tests, ovulation predictors. And um, I probably should go start making dinner for my family. But I love YouTube and sorry for being so hyper. I'm actually trying to get my house ready to sell. Yay! And move into an RV. So if you want to check out that journey, it is... Um, I have started vlogging about our move to an RV um, and homeschooling over at um, Homeschool and RV for me. And I will post the link below, but I have only put a couple of videos up just basically talking about us moving into an RV because we haven't actually started yet. So there's really only a couple of videos in, on there right now, but I do plan on posting more about that as the move gets closer. Tomorrow I will be filming our... Um, I will be filming our tour of what I think is going to be the actual purchase RV. And yeah, so that's that. So good luck, you guys. And I hope everyone gets pregnant. And hopefully all of us have like quadruplets. So we never have to worry about this again. And I will talk to you soon. Love you guys.